What is up YouTube? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Jacob with Veteran Pro Wash and in this video I want to discuss the biggest mistakes people make when starting up a business and a few things that could keep you from landing your first job. This video will be a little different than the past videos being that this could pertain to multiple businesses not just the pressure washing or self washing industry. So that being said let's get into it. Now obviously there are a whole bunch of mistakes that you can make whenever you're first starting up your business. The most major mistake that people make and probably the most obvious is just the simple fact that some people just don't take the initiative to actually start the actual business or idea that they have in their head. They either procrastinate, they come up with all the same old famous excuses that we all know like they don't have time or they say things like I'm going I'm going to start next year and then they never actually do. When starting a business, it is most certainly a leap of faith and it can definitely be overwhelming, especially if you're starting it by yourself with nobody, nobody else involved or without a business partner and you're just going into it by yourself. You're going in blonde, just what you may have seen off of like YouTube or the Internet or something like that. And most people don't see how other businesses were when they were first starting out. And you always have the people that like to say when you're first starting out that they don't think that your business is a good idea. It's not a good idea. You should probably just stick with the job you have and where you're comfortable at and you can make a steady income and pay your bills. And that's perfectly fine. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. And hey, if you love your job and you're comfortable, then this video may not be for you. But if you're tired of your nine to five and looking into starting your own business like we were three years ago, then stay tuned because us starting Veteran Pro Wash is the best thing that could have happened for us because we weren't comfortable with the job that we had before this business. And we love the freedom of being able to say that we're a business owner and looking back to it when we first started and saying we built this to where it is today and where it's going to grow to in the future. Now, it has definitely not been easy by no means. It takes every ounce and every second that you have, especially whenever you're first starting up. You definitely don't want to be the person that waits for everything to come to you. We have by no means been handed anything in the past three years. We've been very blessed and still are very blessed, but we definitely have worked for every single thing that we have and we're still working for bigger and better things. But just because you get your LLC and file your business and make everything official doesn't mean that you get to say, I'm a business owner. Yeah, legally, your business is in the system, but that doesn't mean that you can go to work two or three days a week and say, I can chill at the house and relax the rest of the week. If you go into it with that attitude, your business will fail or your business will not succeed and you will be going back to the same old nine to five more than likely that you just came from whenever you thought that your business was going to be the next best thing since sliced bread. Like I've mentioned in some of our previous videos though, I've worked for an electrical contractor for five years in the plants before we started this business and I worked turnarounds, shutdowns that sometimes consisted of 80 to 100 hours a week and now owning my own company, we'll work at least that many hours a week. We don't ever give ourselves really any time off because there's always something that can be done to benefit our business, at least in our industry, whether it be on the marketing side or the actual physical work and labor side or doing maintenance or servicing equipment or even on the computer making or editing videos. Whatever it may be, we always have something going on. We like to look at our business as we work for Veteran Pro Wash. Now, obviously, we own Veteran Pro Wash. But we look at it as we work for Veteran Pro Wash because it's no different than when I worked for those electrical companies and in the plants. They were paying my bills at the time and now Veteran Pro Wash is paying my bills. We don't like to look at it on a day-to-day -day basis that we own but rather work for Veteran Pro Wash because it keeps us in the mindset that if we don't show up for work or if we aren't staying busy, then someone is going to say something almost like we have a boss and we can't lose our job. That keeps us in the mindset that there is something to be done to benefit our business every single day of the week. Another thing that some people say, especially when starting up an exterior cleaning company, is that they're just going to wait till the spring to start because that's whenever they will get the most business and make the most money. Now this may be true, but in my opinion, if it's winter and you're waiting until the spring to start, then you're no better than the other guy saying he wants to start a business, but he doesn't have the time. Why not go start your business right now? If it's winter, then go get all of the legal things straight, such as establishing your LLC or LLP, whatever it may be. Get all of your equipment together, set it all up, try all of it out, make sure it all works good, and then go start marketing in the winter. That way, for one, you're ready whenever the spring comes around and you've already been pushing your business to make it known to the uh, local community around you. 
And two, when the spring and summer come around, you got the leg up on the guys that didn't watch this video that were crazy enough to wait until the, the busiest season to go establish their LLC. And now they're running around trying to get this and get that because they have maybe started marketing by word of mouth. And now they have people calling them to come do these jobs and they don't even have their equipment ready to go. So now that people are calling other companies and you're missing out on money just because you wanted to put things off. Starting a business takes every bit of stamina you have to offer, and like I said, it can be very overwhelming, especially if you're one that likes to put things off or say, I got to do this, but I'll just get to it tomorrow or next week. Then chances are your business will not be as su successful as the guy or girl that knows they have something to do and just goes ahead and takes care of it when it comes up, especially when you're just starting up and even after you get going, you know, you get your business out there to the local community and everything, there's still stuff that you don't need to put off because you never know what tomorrow holds. We started our business and during the day whenever we started, we would be messing with equipment or handing out flyers or going to local businesses, handing out cards or making phone calls to push our business and make it known in our area. And at night, whenever we would get home from doing all that, we were researching and watching videos or still messing with equipment after we would see something on a video that would maybe work better for us than how we had originally set it up. We have stayed busy since day one because we don't put anything off until tomorrow. We have grown our business to where it is today because we don't wait until tomorrow to hand out flyers or business cards if we don't have jobs. We don't go buy a thousand flyers and only go pass out 50 of them. We give them all out to different types of neighborhoods or businesses because we know that if we hand out 50 of them, that 51st flyer could be one, the one that pays for the rest of the flyers or pays our truck note for the month or our house note or puts our food on the table for the next day. So if you're starting your business and go into it full force and throw everything you have into it, I can almost guarantee you that you will be successful. If you go into it with the mindset that you'll get to it tomorrow, then you will fall short of the men beside you that are handling their business now instead of using the tomorrow excuse. Our business is our livelihood, and if we aren't pushing every day to make our business better or giving a thousand percent to the business, we know that the person that is putting that effort into their business will pass us up eventually, which is fine if we're giving it everything we have, but if we aren't and they pass us up, then that doesn't sit well with us because we're very competitive on a good level. So all of that being said, this is all just advice. Don't be scared to take the leap of faith. And even whenever you fail or get tired or aggravated and don't feel like it anymore, just ask yourself who you're doing this for and why you're doing this. Who do I need to get up and do this for? And why do I need to do this for them or yourself? So get out there, get started and grow an empire. And the people who tell you that you can't, or don't think it's a good idea or the ones that aren't willing to get out there and put forth the effort they'll be at their regular nine to five tomorrow and the next day working for someone else's company help turn that million dollar company into a multi-million dollar company just so they can live content and comfortable while there are people that are taking the shots and living happy on their own schedule without someone telling them what to do because they took the leap of faith put in all the time and effort to get where they are now, and it has paid off for them. That's what we're trying to do, and that's what you should also be pushing for. That's all I got for this video. All of this is, again, just advice. Y'all take it how y'all want to. My name is Jacob with Veteran Pro Wash, and as always, y'all stay happy, humble, and one of